A recent picture of Ted Cruz might not itself say a thousand words, but he is certainly going to say at least a thousand about it. Let's take a look at this picture. It was taken at a shooting range that he was speaking at. And yes, it looks like a gun is about to blow his head off. So he, that's a bit unfortunate, the framing there. He almost looks dead already in that picture. Doesn't he like, it's like, he looks zombie-esque in that picture was, for some reason. I was speaking with Arena, and I first said he looks like when they put shitty prosthetics on an actor to make them look like someone else. And then she correctly identified, no, it looks like when bank robbers put on dead presidents' faces. Oh, oh you got it. Nailed it. Nice job, guys. <laughs> I was going to go with Madame Tussaud. Uh, yes. <laughs> is, is that wax? Yeah. No, no, but it's 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 somebody. Maybe he it's was a Nixon Robin mask. Cruz. Yeah, he just no, can't. No, no, it's it's ironic. It's a cruise mask. <laughs> okay. He's wearing a it's mask this, of himself. That's right, and it's that's how much he loves himself. He's got a mask of himself on him. It's double cruise with a smirk. Yes. <sighs> yes. Okay. So look, obviously, unfortunate framing there. The gun pointed directly at his head. I mean, we've even got it here on this background behind us. So what did Ted Cruz himself think? He spoke with Mark Levin. Let's listen. Well, uh, th th there's no doubt that if they had run the same photo and it had been Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama, that, that, that the entire world would have, would have recoiled in horror, and the editor who made the decision to, to run it would, would very likely have been fired, and there would have been a public apology. Uh, instead, uh, this is business as usual. As you know, the mainstream media, they are not objective reporters. They are hardcore leftists and partisans. They are Barack Obama's most important Praetorian Guard. And no one is more ready for Hillary than the mainstream media. So it is not surprising to see, you know, I, I've kind of enjoyed some of the contrast of all the AP photos of Barack Obama with a halo of lights behind his head versus me with a giant gun pointed between my eyes, because that sums up their views of you and me and conservatives and, frankly, of Americans. They view us as ignorant rubes, and, and that's their hostility coming out, and, and, and it is the nature of who they are. They are partisan. Okay, the, it, Ted Cruz loves this. Mm -hmm. so it, it, get, it allows him to be the victim. The conservatives love to cry about how they're the victims. Oh, yeah. my God, they said happy holidays to me. said it with Merry Christmas. <laughs> And it's actually after the break they came back and Ted Cruz added, <laughs> Make me your president. Okay, now, uh, having said that, I think the AP made a mistake. I, I, I think they said they took 14 pictures of him at the gun shop. Five of them happened to have that framing because he was sitting right next mm. to a giant picture Fucking of a gun. gun. Yes. Right? And they, they said, well, we probably shouldn't have run it. Uh, I agree with that. They probably shouldn't have run it. They should have looked at it. And my guess is that they snickered. My guess is at least the guy who took the picture, probably. he's a pr professional photographer. It's not like he didn't notice. He noticed. And, yeah, but and he, got, he probably got a kick out of it. The editor should have known better than to run that. Here's the problem. He specifically said the mainstream media are not objective reporters. Well, Ted Cruz, here's something fucking objective for you. That picture, that is literally what was there. It wasn't added in post. It wasn't photoshopped. You chose to put yourself in an environment where you were going to be surrounded by pictures of guns. They were drawing comparisons to the Sarah Palin crosshairs thing. Here's a pretty fucking important difference between those two. Sarah Palin added the crosshairs to the different politicians that she wanted to take out in a time when threats, violent threats against politicians were common. You put yourself in front of that picture of a gun. Spend less time in shooting galleries, and you'll have less pictures of you with guns pointed at your head. So John's, of course, right about context. In this case, it's quite literal. It's, he's in the context of being next range. to a giant gun, picture of a gun. That's why they took that picture. Uh, but also uh, context in, in the broader sense. So if uh, you put President Obama in, in the crosshairs or you put a giant gun next to his head, well, look, with a given history of targeting presidents, well, that's uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. yeah. The fact that he's an African-American president, some people are concerned that he would be an even bigger target, that's uncomfortable, right? Yeah. Hillary, there's not that much of a history there. You know, I, I, I don't know. To me, the Obama thing would make the hair on my the back of my neck uh, stand because of the context. Compared H to Hillary, certainly. Right. Hillary, it's not that I wouldn't be upset. I'd just be like, I, yeah. it's not it a thing that's, that's usually done. So, and in Sarah Palin's case, she said, let's target these politicians. So that's a different context. Now, let's take a Republican. If you put a gun next to Ronald Reagan's head, 
Well, that would have been a serious problem. The guy already got shot at. Yeah. Right? So in that context, that would have been horrific. Now, if Reagan happened to be standing next to the picture of a giant gun and they <laughs> took it, it wouldn't have been as bad, but you probably shouldn't have run yeah. that either. So I would have erred on the side of not running it, but don't think that Ted Cruz is upset by this. He mm -hmm. loves it. He gets to wrap himself in the yeah. cloak of victimhood and says, oh, everybody who's for guns, I'm with you, and they think you're a rube, and no, the Even though we didn't say anything about rubes. Me. Now, we do know, though, in the past, that there have been violent images of Obama and guns, and they were not him at a shooting range. It was something that looked like him at a shooting range. Why don't we bring up this picture? Yeah, that's the president. He has a bill that says health bill on it, and Mr. Prez is on his belt buckle. And to be fair, he does actually wear a Mr. Prez belt buckle. So he brought that on himself. <laughs> but they were shooting at the president, trying to kill the president. Kids and adults trying to shoot the president. Uh, in this next one, you're going to see a zombie Obama that you can blow apart, and they're very proud of how much blood and guts will fly out of it as you shoot it. Now, I don't know exactly what Ted Cruz's stance was on that, but when we talk about, the gu about Obama, about President Obama, and violent imagery, it's because they have shown on the right a willingness and enthusiasm to use those violent images to prove their point, that they don't accept them and they're willing to use force if necessary.